Giorana from one of the most isolated islands in the world. What do we do on a lazy Saturday afternoon when we, well, haven't got much else to do? Today, we're going looking for a waterfall. Now, there's not really any rivers on the island, but sometimes after a big rain, a couple of waterfalls do kick into action. We're going to try and track one of those down today with the family. Come for a trip with us. It's going to be great. We're all on our way, let's do it. We're all on the way, apart from that stupid dog out the back who just doesn't want to get up on the back. Well, he does want to get on the back, but he's a bit useless. And so my dog refuses to get up on the truck, so we're going to drive, and if he's really desperate to come, he's going to jump up there. Oh, see! Come on, get Eso! Put the camera on the other side, man! Yeah. Woo! Yes! So much fun! So much fun! Okay, I've turned it off now. Back to normal. Okay, I'm turning it on again. Yeah! Woo! -hoo. We're having so much fun! Yeah! I'm gonna turn it off again. So we're heading up through the mighty forest of Easter Island, the forest of eucalyptus trees planted from 1940 through to 1970. Originally it was made to uh, fuel a furnace. It was supposed to power the island using the beautiful clean fossil fuel of burning wood. But in instead they decided the much cleaner option of burning diesel. I actually stand corrected. My wife just informed me, it might have been for, for multiple reasons, but one of the main reasons was actually to sell uh, to boats that were passing through so that they could at least have something of supplies to give to boats and make some money uh, before the island was kind of opened up to tourism. Um, and so a few boats would stop and they thought, well, we could at least sell them something. And not a whole lot in the way of fresh water and produce, but they figured the eucalyptus tree grows pretty uh, quickly and they could use it to sell for burning uh, to fuel boats. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. There's my dogo. We've just started and my daughter says she's too tired to walk. What are we going to do about that, Cleo? Should we go back? Oh, you want to go on my back? So tell us, what do yeah. you think of this place up here? Do you know it well? Well, I know a story from Vaipu. That's the story that I know. Yeah, and what happens in that story? Let's go! And I can tell you when we get there. Okay. And you can start by taking your backpack. Yeah. Kind of heavy. Oh, I don't want to talk for like 20 minutes carrying your bag. <laughs> Isn't she a good woman? That's what Rabbanoi women do. They yeah, carry your bag for you. What do you say in English? Do you know? Yeah. Ball. Ball. Football. Now, are you going to be a great footballista? Oh. Yeah? Who are you going to play for? Chile, Francia, or New Zealand? Oh, con Chile. Yeah, so look out for the next striker, like his dad. An amazing striker. Played uh, fourth division in Hamilton, New Zealand. <laughs> Amazing striker, yeah, really, really went far in, in football. Hopefully, uh, he'll do a bit better than me. In how the order is going to go today, we've got we've got the dogs at the front, followed by Ihaka. Then, then yours truly, actually. Then little Cleto, followed by Tuhi, 
and that little slow poke there who I think he's gonna hold everyone up today this little guy he started off with a hiss and a roar fortunately we're not going further than kind of a couple of kilometers because man these these guys aren't very good walkers I'm gonna be honest oh yeah Jonah you're not that good a walker are you don't talk about swimming yet yeah why I wanna swim now you want to swim now Yes. You're thirsty, mate. Someone's thirsty. I tell you what, including the dog, you'd think by the look of us that we'd walk like six hours. It's been like half an hour. But uh, the view's getting beautiful up here, and we're going to go and have a look just over the side here if we can find a waterfall now my wife and now that we've come halfway up wants to go all the way up to the top so we'll see what happens we have a few little uh, slightly lazy ones um absolute peace and quiet ready Yahoo! oh oh okay jonah oh, oh. Now, I've got to admit, this is possibly the worst waterfall I've ever seen in my life. Um, I forget who told us there'd be a waterfall here. Well, let's not point any fingers. But here is the waterfall. Drier than a bone. Got a little bit of muddy water there, so I don't think the kids are going to swim there. And usually the waterfall's coming down here, but what we think has happened is some of the farmers around here have actually diverted the water from further up. And so when it rains, it gets taken down to their plantations and no longer runs through here. But it's interesting, we can see uh, little things from uh, the ancient Rapa Nui. We can see a taheta here. Tahetas we use, well, it's uh, debatable what they were used for, but certainly one of those things was like a sink. Uh, they say maybe mirrors as well, perhaps to study the stars looking in the reflection to study the stars and uh, yeah we can see kind of a little area where the Rapa Nui, ancient Rapa Nui would gather water so fresh water was a, was a tough thing to come by in ancient times so what they would do here is actually they built up some walls and kind of formed a, an area where they could actually gather the water and uh, there's not a lot happening now uh, no doubt it's fallen apart but we can see the remains of it doubles as a football field uh, here's the fresh water that they used to drink. Uh, yeah. And we've got some cut rocks uh, over here. Rapa Nui were incredible at making cut rocks. So just over here you can see kind of um, rocks that have been squared out and cut. So interesting about these, these rock formations is they're actually using the same rock to cut that rock. So it really is... Uh, something slightly special there and just up here wherever there was water you'll find statues why because um, they believed in the spiritual world of of the, the, the marine spirits so we can see a statue over here interesting you can see he's not overly big probably a earlier statue um, beautiful spot, beautiful view down to the coast there and no doubt uh, this was a place important for the Rapa Nui because of the fact that there were statues over here okay and we can see look there's a big the river in ancient times would have carried on down there now it's a, just a dry riverbed now the name of this place is Avarangi Uke and those from uh, New Zealand will rem be reminded by the word Ava Awa, Awa, Awa is, is river in uh, New Zealand Māori and uh, here it's Awa but there is no river so they just call a ditch in Awa 
that's about as good as it gets in Rapa Nui, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> not a pretty, not amazing, is it? But that's our, that's our waterfall. Looks like someone's taking a pee at the top there, and their pee is just dribbling through to the bottom. <laughs> Plants in here, and they are for eating, but also this doubles as the perfect toilet paper. Someone's having some fun at least. Some water. I don't know, we're gonna all fit in there. I don't think so. We're gonna fit in this little swimming 